so um, um, today topic is the law of contract as you know the law of contract is uh, we can say it is the foundation upon which the uh, modern business or superstructure of modern business is built we can say why why i am saying that why i am saying that because it is common knowledge that in the business uh, promises made at one time okay and the performance always follows later because it is not sometimes in the contract it is, it is not possible in business to perform the promise as well as the performance of the promise at the same time so when we some some in business if some certain things promise of sometimes the performance follows later so in such time if of the either of the parties uh, decided to free to go back and uh, do not want to perform his promise so he will not incur any liability everybody is free without liability so the the rights due to that breach of a promise there there will be no protection we can say for the rights of a other party so there would be the endless complication in case of a business there would be endless if there is a, uh, there is no liability incurring at the time of breach of contract so any party enter into contract and they will not fulfill their promise so uh, that that will create the endless complication and uh, so uh, it would be difficult to carry on any kind of a trade and commerce so the law of contract has been enacted which lay down the legal rules relating to the promise then their performance and their liability their enforceability that enforceability is another thing we will discuss um, in detail so the law of um, contract is applicable not only to the business community okay even though um, it is of course it is included in business law but it will not be just a business community but it also um, applicable to others so each one of us enter into number of a contract every day every day we uh, enter into number of a contract and most of the time we even don't realize that we are entering into contract so what we are doing from the point of view of law we will discuss the indian contract act essential condition of act what is the essential condition for a valid contract okay so <clears throat> first important thing is that meaning and formation of a contract here you can see the slide and that is a we can say we will see the first um, um definition of a contract that is a agreement enforceable by law is a contract and the object of which is to create a legal obligation so by this definition there are the two things and uh, that is agreement and legal obligation but before before uh, going to going into that we can say that uh key the law of uh, um, the law of contract is in india is contained in indian contract act 1872 which came into force on 1st september 1872 it extends to whole of the india except the state of uh, jammu kashmir and it is not exhaustive it does not deal with all the branches of a law of contract okay all the they, there are the separate act relating to the negotiable instrument act there is a contract in negotiable instrument act transfer of property act sales of good act and partnership act then insurance so and this act is it will not be included in our indian contract act so let us see the definition of a contract so an agreement enforceable by law is a contract so the object of it is to create a legal obligation the creating the legal obligation is very important so by this definition we can say that there is first thing is agreement and second thing is legal obligation so we can say the what is the agreement 
agreement we can say there the promise or set of promises forming the consideration for each other no. is an agreement every promise or every set of promise forming the consideration for each other consideration means we can say that giving something and taking something is a consideration so for for uh, agreement there is every promise and set of promise for forming the consideration for each other is agreement but what is promise uh, there is uh, there is uh, um definition of a promise also um, given that when a person to whom the proposal is made he he signifies his assent to that proposal the proposal is said to be accepted if a person propose certain thing gave some proposal to b person and b person gives his assent to a person that that mean that offer is accepted and that, that that proposal is accepted so that accepted proposal is promise okay accepted proposal is said to be promise when that proposal is accepted it becomes promise so then agreement is therefore offer plus acceptance is an agreement okay and then second the second most important thing is the um, characteristic of an agreement is very important in characteristic of a agreement we can say we have the plurality of a person for the any contract or for any agreement there must be two or more person to make an agreement why why it is so because to make an agreement um the uh, person cannot enter into agreement with himself it is not possible to enter into agreement with himself or herself okay so there must be two person for agreement okay that one person giving proposal another person giving his assent after giving his assent after giving his permission that proposal is said to be accepted and that accepted proposal becomes agreement okay so um, that uh, that is a most important thing so and there is another characteristic feature of an agreement that there must be a two or more person to make an agreement because one person himself cannot enter into contract alone then there is one more thing is associated with the characteristic of a uh, agreement that is a consens ad adam this consens ad adam is a phrase we can say so here consensus ad adam means the both the parties to an agreement must agree about the subject matter of the agreement in the same sense and the same time both the parties to agreement must agree about the subject matter subject matter uh, in the same sense and same time if a person give, making agreement with the b person about the <coughs> about the um, a certain products at a, uh, about the certain products but b person misunderstand the product type so that will not be consider here the same 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 mind means the consensus adam for example if a a um, make a contract with a b for particular uh, 400 bags of wheat but if he didn't mention the brand of uh, that wheat that is a uh, that is a quality wise there are the variety kind of wheats are available in the market so uh if a person expect another uh, wheat and b person is expecting another wheat so there there is no same sense okay uh, no same sense so same sense at and, and same time is very important that is called consensus at adam and another thing as we had seen 
the in last uh, slide first slide that is an agreement and second thing is a legal obligation we are uh, we are learning the agreement enforceable by law is a contract okay so an agreement we had seen but now what is this enforceable by law that is enforceable by law is we can say it is a legal obligation so in legal obligation an agreement to become a contract must give rise to legal obligation what is that legal obligation means that, that is a, through the legal obligation uh, the parties to the contract are legally obliged legally obligated to do perform a duty that arising out of the contract if a person and b person made a contract about providing certain uh, um, certain goods means under the they have they have both the parties a and b have a legal obligation a will send the goods b will buy that goods okay so uh, that that is the legal obligation arising out of the contract so an agreement to become a contract there must give rise to legal obligation if there is any breach of a legal obligation the any uh, aggrieved party can, may sue to the court under the indian contract act so if the contract is not capable to create a duty enforceable by law it is not a contract there so uh social and religious moral nature um, agreement do not create the legal obligation it is intended that they should be attained by the legal consequences we can see that it will be very much appropriate here to point out that the law of contract deals with only such legal obligation arising from the contract they will only um deals indian contract act deals with the legal obligation arising out of contract and which obligation are which are obligations which are of a contractual contractual nature that um, are outside the purview of a law of contract means for example jar apan baghitlo tar obligation to uh, maintain wife and children okay an obligation to observe the law of land obligation um, to order the to follow the order of the court of law it will not come do come within the scope of the contract maintaining wife and children maintaining the law of the land or um, follow the order of the court it is not at all legal obligation it will not come within the purview of the contract act so the law of contract is not the whole law of agreement okay it is not the whole law of agreement because if a person made a contract with a b person to dine at uh, to dine together at the evening so there is just agreement that is there is no enforceability by law because there is no intention to create a legal relationship there is no intention to create a legal relation if we we did not arrived at a's house for the dinner a will not go to the court to file a suit okay for a breach of that agreement why because that agreement does not create any kind of uh, any intention to create a legal relationship so as social religious nature of agreement we had seen that they are moral nature that come under the social religious and moral nature do not create it any legal obligation at the same time the obligation to maintain wife obligation to maintain children obligation to observe the law of the land obligation to follow the court of the uh, court of court orders it will not come within the scope of the contract so the conclusion is that the law of contract is not the whole law of agreement it is not whole law of the only agreement or it is not the whole law of only obligations okay it is the law of those agreement which create legal obligations which create 
only agreement it is not the contract only obligation it is not the contract but it is the law of those agreement which create legal obligation and those obligation which have we can say those obligation arising out of a contract arising out of a agreement that is a contract so thank you very much today we we had seen the definition of a uh, contract that is agreement uh, then promise and then uh, certain um, important features for an agreement and legal obligation okay so i hope you understand thank you thank you very much